Welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today I am so excited to say I'm joined by actress, friend, and now author, Lilia Buckingham. Hi, Lilia, how are we? I'm so good, how are you? I'm good, love seeing your face as always. You look great. Thanks. <laughs> Now, Lilia, your book was published January 5th of this year, and it's called Influence. For those at home, though, that may not know exactly what the book is, what it's about, explain to us what we could be expecting from Influence. Sure. It's like a Gossip Girl meets Pretty Little Liars meets the social media world. So we kind of follow four different kinds of influencers. There are all these like really strong, dynamic females, and we see their lives behind the screens and, and they all, we see how social media affects all of them. And it's really cool. You know, I think a lot of kids can, <laughs> me like hyping up my own book, but like, you know, I think <laughs> a lot of teenagers can really, even if they're not necessarily like social media influencers can relate to the struggles that these girls are going through because like, you know, I've been on social media my whole life as, as a 17 year old girl, I, I know how it affects us mentally. And I really wanted to, display that in the book, you know, in a very, very real and realistic way, because I think a lot of the times it's either over dramatized or under like we, we don't fully depict how it affects like teenagers mental health or people's mental health. And so I think that was a really important thing that we wanted to show. When so I think what I think is really cool is like you said, you're 17. You just put out this book when we were talking off camera. You were saying about 14, you came up with this idea. 15, you started writing it. I mean, you could not have put out a better book for our times, I feel like, than this. Like, we're living in the biggest social media run, influencer run time, I'd say. So, oh, yeah. like, how has that been, you know, when you see in real life and then you see your book, you're like, wow, I really hit this on the nail. <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny. I think when we wrote the book, there wasn't even like, like TikTokers were in a thing. Right. And so the book came out and we obviously, you can't like go back and really change it once it's being right. printed. And we were like, uh, there are now these like TikTokers that we should probably introduce. Um, but you know, you're right. It, it was, it came at a very, very timely time. Um, I think part of the reason that I wanted to write it was that like, this is our world now, you know, we are so yeah. dominated by these social media presence and, and these, these teenagers who are kind of our guiding light at this point, it's no longer like, reality stars or actresses or celebrities it's it's instagrammers and influencers and those are the people that these kids look up to and it's a, just a completely new age so i was like yeah i think we need we think we need to write about this like someone has to and and that's why we did it this book kind of has a gossip girl pretty little liars feel mm -hmm. as well as talking with social media but the iconic author sarah shepherd who actually is the one that kind of started the whole Pretty Little Liars series of books. So how was that working alongside her? It was a dream come true. I was a huge Pretty Little Liars fan. I read all of her books. I watched the whole show. Like she was kind of what inspired me to start writing and definitely like made me realize that her genre is kind of the genre that I wanted to fall into as well. And so, you know, getting to meet her was an incredible privilege and I was so grateful and she had actually uh, previously edited a novel that I wrote I think when I was in like seventh grade wow. or seventh or eighth grade and it was so helpful and so down to earth you wouldn't know that she was a multiple times best-selling author um, and so working with her on influence at first I was a little intimidated because she would be like Lilia like you have to edit my chapters like I can't just edit yours you know that's the point of co-writing. And I was like, but you're perfect. Like there's nothing, I I can't change anything. Like it's, it's I just enjoying reading it because you're so you and you're so good. And she was like, thank you. I appreciate the compliments. You can, you can edit my chapters. But get to work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I was like, okay. And so kind of learning how to do that. And she, she helped me find my own voice instead of just trying to blend it with hers. And then on top of that kind of, just showed me overall how to write a good novel and and what steps you need to take in order to make it good i mean when we got like notes from editors i would be like does that mean they don't like it like are we gonna lose the deal and she's like lilia no lilia for so many of your fans and you know viewers who have read it and loved it and have showed 
broadcast that all over social media and told you, but there are some fans that may have not have read it yet. So why do you think your fans or viewers uh, watching this are gonna love this book, Influence? Oh, that's such a, wow, this is like a pitch. I like it. <laughs> Um, it's a very, very timely piece. And if you're in kind of a rut of being in COVID and like kind of hate the world that we're living in, it's a really great piece of escapism. You know, you're living, once you start reading the book, you dive into this like glamorous world of very real characters and very complex characters. And because there's four different perspectives, you'll hundred percent find someone that you connect to and, and that you relate to. And, um, if you want to know what it's like kind of behind the scenes of the social influence this is also a perfect book for you and then on top of that who doesn't like a murder for mystery you know i have to exactly. say i was trying to hit it all you right i was all. the queen of murder mystery it's like you you're gonna be entranced no matter what you're not gonna be able to put the book down and so yeah i would i would say that you know i love highlighting it that at the age of 17 you're an author you put out your first novel coming from the acting background coming from, like I said, having a big social media presence, being in one of the most popular, famous friend group, girl groups of your age. What made you say, hey, I'm going to take a step back. Not even that you were taking a step back, but hey, I'm going to put on my writing hat and I'm going to become an author. What was a big kick in your life that made you say, hey, I'm going to do this? Well, you know, I, I grew up in LA and I had, I was always surrounded by actors and acting. And so it was a very kind of, everybody did it. You know, everybody was an actor and, and that's amazing. And I, and I loved it and I loved performing and I loved storytelling, but I grew up also as a huge reader and I loved disappearing into stories. And that was kind of my escape for a really long time. And so in seventh grade, I took a creative writing class and it was that that's kind of where I discovered my, my real love for writing because I always wanted to do my creative writing homework. I never put it off. I asked for extra assignments. I um, was constantly meeting with my teacher because I was like, tell me what you think of this. Tell me, like, I was just, I hadn't felt that kind of passion in a really, really long time. And so then from there, I started writing a, a novel and I never, like, I, I wanted to, I never wanted to stop writing. Right. And so I kind of was like, yeah, I, I think this is the thing. I think this is the thing that I, really want to do and that that makes me makes me happy and i you know haven't stopped storytelling since well you know how much i love you i think you have such a great head on your shoulders i'm rooting for you always but for the viewers at home if you guys have not checked out lilia buckingham and sarah shepherd's book influence make sure you guys are grabbing that that is out now basically can get it everywhere so make sure you guys are getting your hands on it and be sure you guys to be giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to sweetie high down below lilia thank you so much for joining me thank you for having me it's always so fun always of course fun. and as always you guys it's sienna leone and i will see you guys next video bye everyone